let's show that 0.4 is rational. 0 0.4 over 1 can be written as 4 over 10, multiplying top and bottom by 10. So right away, we don't even have to reduce this. This here is rational. Now let's show that the square root of 121 over 4 is rational. Here we have the square root of the top over the square root of the bottom, which is 11 over 2. We have integer over integer. This, by definition, is a rational number. Let's rank these numbers from least to greatest. The least number here is negative 100. It's the only negative number. Now the greatest number is infinity, because nothing is greater than infinity. But what we have here for 200% is just the same thing as 2 or 2.0. Now what about 2.5? 2.5 is larger than 2. So what is the square root of 9? Here we have 3. And what's 8 divided by 3? The same thing as saying 2 and 2 thirds. This here is 2.6 repeater. So we write negative 100 as the smallest. Next we have 2 or 200%. Next, we have 2.5. We have 2.6 repeater, or 8 over 3. Then we have 3, or the square root of 9. Then we have a 3.3 repeater. And finally, infinity. This here is the order from least to greatest. Now let's sketch this line y equals 2x plus 3, but we're only going to sketch the positive integers. z means integer, and this plus sign here in the top right corner means positive only. If this was a minus, it'd be minus numbers only. So we begin with a vertical line as a y-axis, and the horizontal line as an x-axis. The y-intercept is 3, so we go 1, 2, 3 units up and we draw a dot. The slope is 2. 2 is the same thing as 2 over 1. Rise over run. So we go up to 1, 2, and we go 1 to the right, and we draw a dot here. So normally, we would draw a line connecting these points. Essentially, we go 1 unit to the right, and 1, 2 units up one unit to the right, and one, two units up. So the pattern continues forever and ever, this way. However, we're only interested in positive integers. And zero is not positive, so we do not include this y-intercept. We only include the positive points, which is here, 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 etc., towards the right. So when x equals one, that's the first positive integer. The first y value would be y equals 2x, which is 1, plus 3. 2 plus 3 is 5. And the next integer would be when x equals 2. y equals 2 times 2 plus 3, which is 7. And we keep going up by 2s, 5, 7, 9, 11, etc. Let's list the first four prime numbers. So 1 is not considered a prime number. So we start with 2, 3, 5, 7. These numbers are prime because they can only be broken down to itself and the number 1. Now what are four positive perfect squares? 1 is square rootable. So is 4 because 2 times 2 is 4. And 3 times 3 is 9, so 9 is a perfect square. 4 times 4 is 16, and the list continues on. 1 is a positive perfect cube, because 1 times 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 times 2 is 8, so 8 is a perfect cube. 3 times 3 times 3 is 27, 
and 4 times 4 times 4, we have 16 times 4 is 64. So looking at this list of numbers here, we have 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. The first number is 1. The second number is 4. The third number is 9. The fourth is 16, etc. What is the value of the nth term? So when we have n, we have the value n squared as our answer. Let's try this challenge problem. Let's show that 1.23 repeater is rational. So this repeating portion, let's let x equal 0.23 repeater. So we have x equals 0 0.23, 23, 23, 23, and the pattern continues on and on. So when we multiply by 100, the decimal moves 2 to the right. So we say 100x equals boink boink 23.232323223 etc now let's subtract 100x minus x is 99x 23 minus 0 is just 23 and everything here after the decimal cancels out so we have a bunch of infinite zeros Dividing both sides by 99, we have x equals 23 over 99. But remember to add the initial 1. The original number was 1 plus x, this repeating portion. What is 1 plus x? We have 1 plus 23 over 99. It's the same thing as saying 99 over 99, which is 1. We have a common denominator, and 99 plus 23 is 122. So by definition, we have integer over integer, which is rational.